Welcome to SQL Reporting Service and this is video number 53 and in this video we are going to talk about the Sparkline. What is Sparkline? Why it is used? So if you look at the current report which I have configured which is nothing but a basic matrix report with the Sparkline attached to it. So if you look at uh, the data over here so you can see something is going up and down right and to prove my point if you see like what I'm trying to do over here is the year is 1997 and I'm trying to see in which month which product has generated how much revenue so you can see in January the chai has generated $489 in the month of Feb there was no sale so if we go and look at uh, you know this report sparkline you can see there's some data for Jan but there's no data for Feb so which is kind of exactly matching with the scenario and it is giving you kind of an indication like how the system is working okay and uh, <clears throat> so in this uh, uh, video what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you something basic right we are not going to do this we are going to do this in the next video okay because you need to have a little bit understanding of uh, the query and how the query is working okay so in this video what I'm going to going to do is I am simply going to go for a toolbox okay I think I have to show you the query otherwise uh, it will not make sense so this is the data set and I have kept the query in here so this is the query and I have broken down the query into the four section first is the select part second is the join third is a condition and fourth is a group by so it becomes easier for you to understand okay so in the first what I'm doing is I'm selecting category name product name how much sale has done okay based on certain formula then I'm just taking the month as the month using the formula same goes with the year okay and then I have a join category on products products on orders and orders on order details right and in this this is a fun part where where I could go like you know for several years or because those several years ha will be having a several months so I can compare the data with that but in order to keep it simple I have only considered the year 1997 so I wish to only see what are the current sales have been done over the year and I wish to compare them against each and every month and in the end I have to use the group by because I'm using the aggregate function right so that's it and let's get started now uh, so basically you got the idea right now the thing is I'm going to use the spark line the moment I hit double click it gives me a prompt like what exactly you want to see and I say example right now I'm taking the thing as the column one and I said okay now I'm gonna take this guy I'm gonna put this guy over here and I'm gonna say okay hey double click I'm gonna say hey double click I'm gonna add the value I wish to see the product sales okay I wish to see the sum how much they are sold or and I want to group them by month okay and now let's save it okay and let's preview it so you can see uh, for the Jan Feb March and all you are getting the you know sum for all the products in which month what uh, sales have been done but sometimes it happens you know this graph doesn't give you a much of the impression like what's going on so in that case uh, uh, the thing is you may change the spark line graph type so let's say if I'm choosing a line graph so it gives you an ups and down like how the progress was so you can see in Jan you were doing great and Feb something went wrong then in March blah 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 and in the end you can see in December it has started growing back again right so this gives you a bit of an idea and it depends like based on understanding what you wish to see okay so let's change back to one second the sparkline type and let's go back to the simple one okay and you can show the data labels if you wish to see you can view the values what the sales you have done and it indicates like what is going on besides that 
you can format these guys as like properties and this is a number and this is a uh, how much sale you have done so that's a number right and the formatting is I wish to see as 2 and the click OK and preview so it looks okay right but this is just uh, in if like you're expanding a graph in a bit more way then this is what you need right so in the next video what I'm going to show you is something like this well, what are we doing is we have created a matrix report and over here you can see the year is 1997 the month is Jan Feb which is indicated in terms of 1 2 3 4 and in the end what you can see is uh, this spark line so you can see for the month of February there's a gap okay and for the month of December and the month of 9 there's a gap because on the left hand side you can see 9th and 12th are empty so that's why the spark line is showing up there's no data so it's kind of like nice you know so it becomes easier for you to understand like how the things are and where we going right so in the next video I'll show you how uh, to create that okay so if this video helps you in some way then please uh, you know um, share this video with your friends and subscribe to my channel thank you for watching good night and take care